Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, in some spots, it looks like the snow is really coming down. It's yeah. pretty. Well, we haven't seen a lot of nights like this. Right. You know, we're here together every every weeknight, and um, this is probably one of the snowier ones in, in like the last two months. Yeah, so it's been a while. Yeah, it's too bad we can't go out and make snow angels right now. <laughs> uh, hour and a half or something okay. like that. Something like that, yeah. All right, uh, let's show you what's going on with Storm Tracker right now. There are some holes in the radars, so the snow is a little bit lighter than it was a couple hours ago in southern Vermont, in eastern Vermont. Not all of the snow shows up. It's just the nature of where we live and the mountains blocking the radar beams. But certainly in the Champlain Valley, we've got widespread snow. Burlington, Plattsburgh, all of Clinton County is included. Then we start to see some of the gaps over the upper valley in southern Vermont. This is not a very big storm. It's basically a band of snow coming through. And then with a northwest wind tomorrow, the mountain snow will continue. But we've been saying all evening that the widespread snow is now. And it starts to fall apart after midnight. We're getting close to that when it basically transitions just to some snow showers left over. But uh, Church Street is very snowy right now. Merchants Row and the city of Rutland in the Marble Valley also snowy. You can see the snow on the sidewalk there. And Brattleboro, not as heavy as it was two hours ago, but it's still snowy and slushy on the main road there. And so because of all of this, the NBC5 Weather Lab is deployed. You see it there in Franklin County, Vermont, a little ways north of our studio. So we'll zoom in here and show you downtown St. Albans where Route 7 goes on through. And that is Matt's location. Been a little bit of a ride tonight. So let's check in with him and see how things are going, Matt. A little, a little slippery? What's it looking like? Oh, it's very slippery right now. If you saw the lights blinking, there were just some cops that actually just cleared the scene. What happened was there was a tractor trailer that couldn't get up the St. Albans State Highway. Right now we're at the intersection of South Main Street and the St. Albans State Highway, and you just missed him. There were two cops here that were trying to help him guide his truck back down the hill so he could back out. So they just briefly had this road closed off. And you can kind of see why he had such trouble getting up the hill. The, the roads are very slushy and snow packed. It looks like they've run the plows by a couple of times here, but for the most part, uh, the salt still hasn't totally kicked in yet. So right along South Main Street, it's very snow covered. The tractor trailer was stuck there, but he did successfully get out. So the snow is actually slowed down a little bit from where it was earlier. Right now we're just seeing some flurries, but you see there's still some periods of snow left to go through the rest of tonight. So things like this, you just want to be careful. Take it a little bit slower, of course. If you drive in the snow a lot, you know that already. You don't need me to tell you. But yeah, we're out here in St. Albans, snow-packed roads. Tractor trailer just got stuck. It's a bit rough out here. So we'll continue to go up the road and see how conditions are for now. Then we'll send it back into the studio. <laughs> All right, Matt, thank you. Great to have you here uh, late on this Thursday night. We'll check in with you a little bit later on. Temps are in the 20s, so no problem accumulating the snow. And you'll see here as we go along, northern areas have the most persistent snow at 3 o'clock in the morning. How about wake up time and just after that? Mountain snow, but not a whole lot. I mean, the sun might be coming out in Springfield at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So during the daytime tomorrow, it's mostly just in the mountains, the higher elevations where the snow continues. On Saturday, there's snow showers around, clouds, some sunshine, basically a mix of everything. But I, I would favor more clouds a lot of the time. You may get lucky with an hour or so of sunshine on Saturday. It's just not wholesale clearing really until we get to Monday. This, uh, before we move along here, this is Sunday. Could be some snow there that accumulates in St. Lawrence County on Sunday. So little chances of snow going forward, but no big storm. A lot of wind, though. Wind every day. So tomorrow it's out of the northwest, 20 to 30, maybe 40 miles per hour in southern Vermont. On Saturday we'll do it again, a northwest flow, about 20 to 30 miles per hour. How about Sunday? Well, it's a southerly direction on Sunday, but it's still about 30 miles per hour. And then on Monday... 20, 25 miles per hour. So pretty gusty for the entire President's Day weekend. In terms of additional snowfall, mostly northern areas, Plattsburgh, another two inches or so. Malone could be four plus when you factor in all day tomorrow. Remember in the mountains, it snows all day tomorrow. Long ways to go. 
As we push along here, you'll see the little bit of sunshine as we get through the weekend. 32 on Sunday, 26 for President's Day when it's brighter. Brightest day in the 10 day is Tuesday of next week. Then we pop right near 40 mid next week. Brian. All right, Tyler, thanks. New at 10 families in one northern.